Hey guys, welcome back. Old Guy Gamer here, playing Tourist Bus Simulator. I'm here with my daughter, Savannah. Hey. And uh, we actually just finished wrapping up recording another video. So, Savannah says she wants to look at the bus. As dirty as it is. Really excited. So, let's hop in and show her what this looks like. I am going to start it up. And then I'll press the zero button to turn the air conditioner on. How do I do that? Here it is. So now we can go back to the driver mode and press the C button to get out of the seat. And then we can walk to the back. So they got lights on. They got Where's lights the on. kitchen? There is no kitchen. I don't have it yet. Where and does they, it go? They call it a kitchen, but I don't really know what it's going to look like because... I don't know, there's no bathroom either, but it says there's a bathroom button. So this is the bus. There's a back door. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is like a kitchen down here. See how there's little cup holder things right there? Uh, otherwise, I don't know. It's. I, I imagine when they say kitchen, I imagine it's going to be some sort of like self-serve snack spot. Like take your soda and put a dollar in, or two fifty, or five dollars, whatever it is. That's it. It wants me to get in the car, so I think we have to turn off this bus and see where it wants us to go. Isn't that a cool looking door? Get it, cause the bus thing was man. So I said. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Now it's closing. All right, let's see where it wants us to go this time. I always thought buses kind of looked like insect. Like an like, insect? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because of little things that like drive to Antigua. Go down. What things that go down? Like, oh, the mirrors. Yeah. So you think those look like antenna? <laughs> I didn't know they were I guess mirrors. so, yeah. I would have said mirrors if I knew they were mirrors. They look like tiny little front paws. Or floppy ears, maybe. Let's see. What's cool about this game, I learned in my, not my last video, but one of my previous videos, is that this island that we're driving around is a real island on the in the world, on the earth. In the world? In the world. And... We are in the central time zone, so it is about 20 minutes after 7 o'clock p.m. But if you look on the lower right by this GPS down here, it says it's 9.52. It's because they are... Wait a minute, it's got to be more than that. That's only two hours difference. Wasn't it more than that last time? That would put them on the east coast. I have no idea what's going on. I was going to say that it's real time. <laughs> it can't possibly be 14 hours ahead. No, because it's dark out. Whatever. I had this theory going that whatever the time is in the game is the time that it is in the real place where this is at, near Africa. I thought for sure I was right, but I must be wrong because there's no way that it's 10 o'clock there. What happens if you don't stop at stop signs? I don't know. Actually, yeah, that can't be true because it's 720 here and it's 52. It would be an even number. It would be... It would also end in 20. Um, I've never blown through a stop sign to see what happens. The only, the only time I've seen... I've gotten a, a, a speeding ticket. But there's no police. All there is is speed cameras. And if you go through the speed camera faster than you're supposed to, you'll, you'll get a ticket. I didn't even see how much it was. I just saw that I got one. We're going to Antigua. I don't know what that's for, but actually, let's take a peek and see where it's at on the map. Oh, right there. Uh, I saw a picture of a couch. I wonder if that's where it's taken us. It said something about accommodations. Look at the stars. That's really cool. So what else do we want to talk about? In our last video, we talked about... We didn't really talk about moving. We talked about our old house and any of the significant events or memories we had of this house. Um, 
What do you want to talk about this time? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know either. What was our other option? Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's. I held that. I think it's weird. I'm gonna hit the map button just so we can go back to our trusty writing prompts. Writing so prompts. here, open the open the page. Open the book to a certain page, okay. and this is gonna be completely random. Savannah's gonna pick. And I must say that your fingernails are on point today. I noticed it earlier. Oh, thanks. And on point. What would you say? On fleek? <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> on point is an old-fashioned way of saying they look really cool. All right, so there's five writing prompts on here. Um, let me just pick one. Well, then it's not random. The page is random. Okay. Um... I, there's one here that says, what a, what event from your youth? So we'll avoid that one. Have you ever judged someone and later felt guilty about it? Write something new in your life. If mirror. Okay, this is a good one. If you could be in any band. All right, so here's the, what the writing prompt says. And this is going to be our talking prompt for this video. If you could be in any band, past or present, what band would it be? And what role would you play? What would be your role? So what band would Does you be in? Does it have in? to be like a formal band or like a group of people that sing? That's a good point. What would you say? Either way. I'd say like a group of people. What group of people? Um, I have two. What are they? One of them is for King and Country. For King and Country, the Christian band. Because they're just some cool dudes. Just the Australian dudes. What, what role would you play in the um, for King and Country band? I'd be the manager the manager yeah what did they who's their manager now isn't it like a family member of theirs like I their don't dad know. was the manager because remember we went to the concert and they talked about him being the manager yeah so you want to take over there his was role. the tour manager chico was that his name chico yeah. i think i talked about that story we before we were wearing the same jacket remember? i think i talked about that story before and i couldn't remember his name tour manager chico tour That's manager chico so i wonder he looked really young. Do you really think he was a tour manager? But he had kids. Or he has kids. <laughs> Not dad. Yeah. He did then too, so. <laughs> the tour manager looked really young. So I wonder if he I, really was I a tour manager. I think he would have been like 32. He looked okay. like 32. So that's what you'd be like. Not in the musical part of the band, but you'd be one of the logistics. Yeah, I'd be people. in the production. Okay. I would like to be part of that crew. That'd be kind of cool. I would have to be like either a roadie or I would I always thought I would be like a tour bus driver or, well, one, here of the, we are. or one of the truck drivers the bus simulator. and I think that yes that's why because because I like to drive a lot and driving is well not that it's easy but it's easy <laughs> so I think that's what I would choose to do since I don't have any musical talent uh, what was the other one you were going to say I was going to say pentatonics pentatonics what role would you play in that band same yeah. as for King Country or I'd like to sing in it. Yeah? Which, well, there's only one girl, so would you take her spot? No, I think there could be two girls. I think so? Well, it wouldn't be pentatonics then. It would be like oh, well then, a six-piece, whatever that's called. I don't know. Antigua. Wait, where is it telling me to go? It wants me to go around the block to come right back here. What musical group band would you be in? What band would I be in? Uh, you know what? We are here, so let's set the break. Put it in neutral. Turn off the lights. Cut the engine. Um, you know, I, I think it would be cool. As much as I like Brad Paisley, I, and I've always said that I'd like to be a part of his band, I don't think I would want to be a part of his band because he plays a lot of practical jokes, and that's just not my style. I don't want to be part of a. I don't want to be the butt of a joke, <laughs> for a practical joker. So I think that would actually keep me away from being his tour bus driver. There's a thing back here somewhere. Where the heck is it? I remember watching. Oh, there's a lock sign right there. I didn't even realize that. Oh. 
I can only remember the phone number of my favorite delivery service where I get delicious hamburgers and crispy fries for six fifty. Oh my gosh, what's Wendy's number? <laughs> so it's gonna be delivery service. Would that be on my phone? Thought for sure you'd say like the Beatles or something. Uh, I don't really like the Beatles. There's a there's a thing going around that says every bird, every person that likes music has to either like the Beatles or Elvis. And I'm mm. not really I'm not really a fan of either one. I don't really I mean I don't hate them. I just don't I'm not like crazy about them. Why is orders disabled? Currently not available. Oh, that's that order scheduling. Huh. <sighs> I wonder if I can get a burger. Nope. Workshop contracts, finances. It's not available because I'm not in my office. So do you think I should cheat real quick and just look it up on Google? No. Why not? Are you kidding? I've seen that before. I just don't remember what it was. All right, well, I know it's here. We'll just do it some other time then, whatever. Even though it's experience points that will help me increase my level. What was I tripping over there? There's my car. Didn't see it right away. There is like no one else on this road. You notice how desolate this place is? Since we took off from my headquarters, I haven't seen a single car pass us in any direction. So, the hammering? Is that what I'm... This shop will enable you to order various kinds of furniture for your private apartment or house. Do you have a house? I don't, but I think this is the area where it wants me to be. Um, where else does it want me to go? Antigua. Wait, did it tell me anything else to do? Drive to Antigua. That's where I'm at. Lights, this, this, this. I'm pretty sure I can just move back out onto the street because there's no one else out here. I wonder if it's going to make me... I'll follow the orange path just to see what it says. Oh, there's a guy walking on the street. I bet he's up to no good. Only person out on the street in the middle of the town where no one else is out. Oh, you know what? It never told me how to use the grocery store before. I just did it on my there's own. There's people. There's two more people. There's three people out and about. Nice. Why is everybody else's car better than yours? Uh, this one's just really Does it want me to go? Motorcycle. Why don't you drive a motorcycle? Park in the yard and exit the vehicle. Oh, I gotta go up there. Okay. How do you get cars in this? That is a good question. I'm just gonna park right there. Um, lights, engine, C. C you're always old. Faces me towards the. You should steal that motorcycle. Yeah, I don't think I can. Oh. There's a stairwell back here. Wrong yeah, game. There, there it is. <laughs> yeah, like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, apartment, apartment Antigua. If you see the symbol on the map, you've discovered an apartment that you can buy for yourself. See, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> I love finding mm. spelling errors. It makes me feel so superior. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I kind of like judge on whether I'm going to buy something from a company as to whether or not there's anything misspelled and it's promotional well, material. Yeah. Like I wouldn't buy something from someplace, but whatever. That actually is a word, so that's probably why it passed the spell check. After the purchase, you'll see this icon. And you've activated your fast travel. Now click on buy. 24000 That takes a lot of money. So that's your house now? I guess it's my house now. You've acquired your first property. You can arrange it. 
click on the different fields to buy items of furniture. I can also find more real estate, make enough money, buy larger, more luxurious properties, interact with fields, visible, close proximity, look for the fuse box to switch between the modes. What? You want the interaction fields to be visible only at close proximity, look for the fuse box. The skills, the skill points. Are the walls really dirty or is that Open the skill point menu via your smartphone to distribute the point. Okay. Where's the fuse box? I think it's open. Uh, oh, it wants me to open the phone. Okay. Oh, it's funny that I just clicked on that. On the top, you ca see your current level. They spelled can wrong. Another spelling error. You ca see. You ca see your current level experience and available skill points here. You can exchange skill points for fast travel locations. Receive skill points by leveling up, and you can also find them in sealed containers. You may also need them for certain other occasions. Save a few for later. Okay. Accept selection. Select the fast travel points you want to unlock on the map and then confirm your selection. Available fast travel locations on the unlock or discovering or interact with certain locations like hotels or restaurants. You can also have the option to buy back all skill points by clicking on this button. Okay. Oh boy. I have one. I can choose fast travel locations. Okay. Excuse me. My goodness. Oh, here's the one. Um, maybe I should choose like a really northern location. I'm only at level one. Does that say Balearis? Where at? Right there. The town. Just Lajares. Oh, I can't L see L A J A R E S. Lajares. Um. Trying to think of where a good fast travel spot would be. The restaurant. Wait, that's not available. Use the map and click on the desired spot to distribute a skill point. Then confirm your choice. You also have the option to buy back all your spent skill points. Click on the buy back button. What? Yeah, that's fifty thousand dollars. Oh, it's got to be someplace I've visited already. It looks like. Okay, well let's put it way down south. Maybe that'll save us some time later. Oh, it won't let me. It's got to be one of the highlighted ones. One of the yellow ones, I guess. There they are. See, there's none down south and none up north. So. Oh, man. Well, I've already got a fast travel spot here because my house is here wherever it's at. Oh no, I'm in my house, so there will be one there. Right? And there will be one there. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fast travel to the, um, close to where the mechanic is. The mechanic is right here. So I'm gonna do a fast travel to right here. That way I can always go and fix my bus quicker. Okay, now you've completed all the basics to earn enough money to purchase an extra bus to support your staff. Later you can expand your fleet, hire drivers, mechanics, tour guides. While you gather more experience and explore the island, you'll gain access to new types of orders, shuttles, and sightseeing. For now you have full access to the island for the expand your company as you see fit. Okay. Tourist bus 101. Okay, well I don't want to be in here. So I guess we'll just end that video for here. Or you know what, let me see if I can fast travel back to my office. Uh, what was our talking point? Ban. Um, I don't know, besides Brad Paisley, I, I like for King of Country, I'd like Brad Paisley, I guess. You said no to Brad Paisley. Yeah, I know. Just thinking of style of music. Would you ever do a face reveal? Uh, yeah, why not? I don't care. Hmm. All right, never mind. I guess we'll just drive. I still can't figure out waypoints. It's ridiculous. If you 
can't fast travel anywhere you want. What's the point of it? It looks like you can only fast travel to the points that you buy. That stinks. Alright, so I've got the drive back now to talk about things. Let's just talk about what bands we like, or what music we like. Alternative? Like grunge from like the early 90s? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you consider alternative? It's like just chill stuff. Something that's not pop, but it's not like sad songs. It's like the in between. I wouldn't call that. What did you call it? Alternative? I wouldn't call it alternative. Yeah, but I, I would know. call that easy listening. That's what other people call it, easy listening. What's the draw to that kind of music for you? Like, why is that the type of music that you like? Because you don't like the negativity in, or something? Well, I just feel like I'm not a very poppy person, so like... I don't know, pop tunes are good for when you're like... I don't know, like if you're working out or something, I don't know. Some people well, like yeah. hardcore stuff when they're working out, I don't like hardcore. So that's when I'll go for like, pop. Just to kind of keep the energy up and keep you kind of... I, when I like run, like when I run around the neighborhood, I listen to Christian music. But like, poppy Christian music. Like who do you go to for pop in Christian music? Well, I have a playlist, but like Hillsong. You consider yeah. them pop? No. I don't know. It's. I guess it's not pop if it's Christian music. It's just like. Well, it's like popular Christian. It's what pop means. Yeah, but. It's not stuff that you would sing at church. Like some songs are like when you sing at church. Yeah. I'm talking about stuff that's positive that's just not worship and not. I don't know. I have a playlist on my phone. Oh, I guess we're getting close. Okay, good. We're on about to turn left. I don't have enough creativity to find new groups for Christian music. Really? Like when I go on Spotify, That's my favorite thing. Like when I'm when I'm at church listening, like just sitting in the Iwana office waiting for people to ask me to do something. <laughs> I, I try and listen to Christian music, and I'm like always listening to either Mercy Me or For King and Country or Oh whatever just pops up on my Spotify uh, daily mix just because I have no creativity as far as looking for things. Um, That's like my favorite thing to do. What? Looking for new music. Looking for new stuff. Yeah. So then when it gets popular, which I know it eventually will. Yeah, I'm really the first one you, already had, you already knew about it? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be like, ha ha. Have you ever heard of Michael W. Smith? I actually was listening to him, like, since the 80s. Like, I used to have cassette tapes of him. Or CDs. Actually, I guess I was more into CDs, but still. And he's been popular for that long. Not crazy. But now he sings songs that you can sing in church. So it's more worship stuff. I wouldn't really call it pop. But he, has prob he probably has pop songs, too. I've never really listened to an entire album of his in the last 20 years, probably. Just go on Spotify and find that one song that you were looking for and leave it at that. Except we don't have Spotify Premium anymore. Oh, that's right, you don't. Is Spotify one of those things where if you have a student account, they give you a better deal than just a regular free account? Yeah. What is the deal if you're a student? If you're a student, it's five dollars a month for Spotify, Hulu, and something else. For all three of those, it's only five dollars a month. Yeah. Wow. I think maybe it's ten, but I think it's five. That seems pretty good. Anyways, what other music do we like? I like country music. I don't really listen to country music that much, but if I was going to pick something not Christian, I'd pick country music. I don't like country music. No. I said that when I was your age too, and then I started liking country music. I like can listen to country music, but it just gets annoying after a while. Some yeah. of it's just like annoying from the get-go. Okay. I should go and look at that gym and see what it is.
All right, so we did one thing. Is that enough, or do we need to do something else? I think we should watch the bus. I think we finished the tutorial. So let me run down here and look at this gym real quick. And then we'll end the video. We need to give shout-outs. Who do we give shout-outs to? Wait, give me your phone. I'll look at your subscribers. Subscribers? Or your Instagram or something. Yeah, go to your Instagram. There's nobody that follows me on Instagram. I have one follower, and it's probably you. Uh, Instagram's not my famous, well then I'll shout not my out not my best. Well, go to something where you can see your list of people. Uh, I don't follow your Twitter. Twitter nope, not yet. What the heck? So the best thing is probably just the YouTube channel. Can you see your subscribers? Uh huh. Wait, can I? I don't think so. I've seen my subscribers before. Anyways, recommend and recommend. Wait, let me see. You do the game. Okay, this guy right here. I, I said something about him in the last video. I'm sitting here using the steering wheel on my, on my foot. Let me see if there's any. Can I do else. two? Two shout outs? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what you're going to say on a shout out, but go ahead. No, I do it at the end. Oh, okay. We'll do it at the end. Let me just discover this restaurant real quick. Oh, I know who I'm going to do. Restaurant will be available as a sightseeing tour stop and will also improve your employee satisfaction. I employee satisfaction. Okay, let's see if there's anything else in this town. Nope. All right. Let's go end this video. And... What is it you want to do? You want to do a shout out and then we'll come back and we'll wash the bus. See if we can figure that out. Okay? So is this the end of the video? So this is going to be the end of the video. We are definitely going to go wash the bus when we come back for the next video. Wait. We'll figure it all out. Can I do that first? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I like him. He actually commented when he, he doesn't have any content on his channel. So I know he's not just trying to build his channel. He actually yeah. liked the video that he commented on. So go ahead. Do your shout out. Today's shout out goes to John Birch. John Birch. You know why he's special? We appreciate your support. John you know why Birch. he's special? I remember who John Birch is. Why is he Do special? Do you know why he's special? No, I don't because know. Because he special. actually put a comment on an old video that is one of my more popular videos that of a game that I don't play anymore. And it literally he just put a comment on there like last week maybe. Does it say I love your videos? Yeah, it says I love my video. That's he the loves comment my videos. I'm looking at. And it's on, was it on Rebel Cops? I don't know what this video is. It's one of the police yeah, ones. Yeah, Rebel Cops. Yeah. That was part the, two if you want to watch it. Rebel Cops part two? Yeah. If you want to see what video that John Birch likes so much. Yeah. Or, actually, well, he might have just picked a random video and said he loves all my videos, but that was just the one he decided to comment on. I mean, he just felt the love in that video. In that so video, he, he felt connected. To, yeah. To, yeah. Maybe I should go back and watch that video and see what he likes so much about it. Maybe I did something different on that video than I normally do. I don't know. But anyways, I appreciate all the people that watch my videos. I don't really trust YouTube when they give me my stats at the end of the month. They're like, you had this many thousands of minutes of views. And I'm like, I know how many views I have. And it doesn't really make sense when they tell me how many, not thousands of views, but minutes. It just doesn't make sense. The minutes they say versus the people that I see that viewed the videos, it doesn't match up. It just... I don't know if YouTube's lying to me or if I just don't see people watching the videos that justify the stats, but whatever. Thanks to everybody who watches my videos. Especially John Birch. Especially John Birch. <laughs> and thank you for the likes and thank you for the comments. I do, as long as I'm small, uh, as far as YouTube content, I'll try and answer everybody who comments or has a question. I've actually gotten a couple questions in the last week or so. Makes me feel like a real YouTuber because I actually get to interact with people and answer questions and see what everybody's doing. Um, makes me feel cool. Connected. So keep up the watches, keep up the likes, and keep up the subscriptions, I guess. I don't know. We want to get to 2 million. All right, let's get to 2. Five. Let's, let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. <laughs> And 2,000 subscribers by Within the end 24 of the day. hours of it posting. No. <laughs> <laughs> because 
I'm not going to post. I'm recording the video today on a Thursday, but I'm not going to post it today on a Thursday because I'm like three videos into recording. So this will be posted like on Sunday or something. So whenever this video posts, let's see if we can get 10 likes within 24 hours. Do you think we'll be able to do it? Like, what would you do if we'll do the whole TikTok thing? If I get a million likes, will you quit smoking? <laughs> No one I don't here smoke. Smokes. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't dip. What are the? What? what other ones have we seen on TikTok? Dip. What is dipping? One girl. It's mouth tobacco. Like chew. Oh. And the girl was like, "How many likes do I need to get on this video to get you to stop chewing tobacco or whatever it was?" So it's funny. Uh, I think we're done. I haven't moved the. I haven't moved the video. <laughs> the, the screen. We just been sitting here talking. So hopefully people are still tuned in, but. All right, uh, that's it for this video. You guys go watch some more videos, and I'll go play some more games, and I'll see you back here next time. And I have a feeling that Savannah will be here next time also because in the next video, we're going to go watch the bus. So uh, <laughs> really stay tuned. We'll be back in a little bit. Bus. See you next time. Say what? I really want to watch the bus. All right, let's go watch the bus. We need to find another shout-out for the next video. Um, oh, wait, this container is open. Um, I think Danny Zaid. Oh Except yeah, you know she might be being a. It's hard to do shoutouts because I don't really have enough people that comment and. I got a lot of stuff in here that does absolutely nothing. Just wandering around. See, this is the way I like to do my videos now. I film like two or three in a row, all on the same video, and then separate them. Oh, that's weird. Here's my employee area. Not the garbage dump, this thing over Wait, here. Wait, are you recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I record this whole time. I'm an hour in I'm an hour in right now. Yeah. And we're gonna be starting our third video. Wash that bus. Wash <laughs> that bus. <laughs> Wash that bus. <laughs> Alright. People are gonna know that this is a continuation of the last video because it's only ten fifteen in Puerto uh, What's the name of the what's the name of this country? Or this island? El Puerto. Fuerte Ventura. It's Fuerte a, Ventura. I, remember, I think I said it was the Easter Islands before. It's the Canary Islands. Las Canarias. Yeah. And I said it was British. It might be Spanish. Since yeah, it's in Spanish. Yeah, I, I think it's Spanish. I noticed yeah. that like two videos ago, but yeah. I didn't say anything. Eh, whatever. It is what it is.